Hi guys and welcome back to Playtech TV. Now this is a follow-up video to yesterday's video based on your feedback. So yesterday I put up a video of the RX 460 which featured some footage of the game Doom. Now these benchmarks were done in OpenGL for Doom, whereas Doom actually supports the Vulkan API as well and a lot of people wanted to see those benchmarks. Unfortunately the tricky thing is, is that Vulkan is very hard to benchmark for because none of the big software actually supports it yet. Luckily, one of our subscribers actually sent through a link to some software that we can run so that we can actually um, get some kind of meaningful numbers out of uh, Doom as a Vulkan benchmark. Now, the software is a little bit tricky to use, um, but we got there in the end. So I'm going to show a little bit of that in the video coming up. Let's just get straight into it and have a look at how Doom really does perform with this new Vulkan API. So as you can see here, we're literally just going straight into the settings, switching it onto Vulkan and then selecting Ultra. We haven't changed anything else, we're just leaving it all at standard Ultra settings. And now we just Alt Tab out into Present Mon, which is going to record our frame times for uh, the Vulkan API in Doom. I've actually set a delay of 10 seconds from when I hit Run on uh, Present Mon, uh, between then and when the actual benchmark will start. This means that we're just getting pure gameplay and no um, UI or anything like that at the start, no loading screen or anything like that. And once we've got that set up, then we can actually just jump back into the game and begin our benchmark. Now let's take a look at these results. We ran the benchmarks three times to smooth out any inconsistencies and presented an average of them here. Now the results are pretty surprising. We're expecting Vulkan to run absolute rings around OpenGL, but as we can see here, it's just not the case. We got a minimum frame rate of 10.5 FPS compared to OpenGL's 19 frames per second, so a massive difference there. And then again, a maximum frame rate of 174 FPS, as opposed to the 76 frames we got out of OpenGL. So the minimum is a lot lower, and the maximum again is a lot higher. However, the average is only just slightly higher than OpenGL at 35 frames. Under OpenGL, we only got about 32 or 33 frames per second, whereas in Vulkan, we're getting 35. So it is slightly better, but not so much that it really blows my mind or anything like that. Now, although that maximum frame rate is ridiculously high and it seems like a really good thing, it was actually never noticeable during gameplay. There was no point in time where I could actually see that the game was running at such a high frame rate. But looking through the logs, it looks like there were just these crazy, really, really short little spikes of just ridiculously high frame rate that would just pop through, but not long enough for me to actually register when I'm playing the game or actually see um, with my eyes. It's just something that was just so short and so sharp that only the actual log files really um, kept track of it. So that may be a limitation of the 2 gig graphics card or something there, I'm not really sure. But at this stage, it looks like Vulkan doesn't really offer the RX 460 any huge advantage in Doom. So as you can see, the performance is slightly better, not hugely. I was honestly expecting a lot more. I had people saying, you know, it's going to be like 60 FPS, no worries. And it's just simply not the case. I mean... There's no real bottleneck here. I got a 6950, I got 32 gigs of RAM, I got the SSD, everything like that. The rest of the system is completely fine. So I'm guessing it's just, that's the limitation of the card. Maybe, I mean, I'll try a four gig card sometime in the future. I'll do some benches on that and see how we go. But Vulkan and the RX 460 running Doom, it's uh, marginally better than OpenGL, but not a huge difference. So if you're buying the RX 460 for Doom, just keep that in mind. You're still gonna be looking at about an average frame rate of 30 FPS, roughly. And I'd just like to say thank you to the subscribers who sent through the link to Present Mon. It wasn't something that I was actually aware of. I was, I was completely in the dark about that. So um, it was really good to see a new way that um, I can bench some of these new graphics cards. And um, hopefully that could be something I can integrate into future videos. And um, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next week. Like and subscribe if you like the video. See you.